welcome to the Building E-Business Capacity video series. Uh, today I'm going to be going through uh, your top 10 uh, design elements for your website. Um, and we'll start with uh, number one, which would be uh, good visual design. Uh, often uh, good visual design can come down to just a clean, simple layout. Uh, I'm a firm believer in uh, less is more um, and, and just well positioning on the page. Your first impressions of your website uh, are key to uh, having a, a successful design and grabbing people's attention in order to uh, stay on your website and read the information. Uh, secondly, um, thoughtful user interface. Now, uh, a good user interface would be uh, the foundation to uh, any um, successful designed or well-designed website. Um, now, this can be basically dictated by who's going to be visiting your site um, and create a, a clear um, image for your ideal visitor. Okay, number three, um, your primary navigation. Your, now, your primary navigation needs to be uh, above the fold as this is the, uh, the means in which people are going to navigate around your site. So, uh, be sure that this is clear to the user. Now, whether it's horizontal or a vertical navigation, it's entirely up to your designer or to yourself. Um, your fold uh, appears at about five or 600 pixels uh, from the top of the page. Um, this should also include your logo uh, and any uh, branding you'd like to include in the, uh, in the header. Number four uh, is to actually repeat your navigation in the footer. Now this uh, is quite important if you have a flash header or if you're using images uh, as your link buttons. Um, this could be uh, helpful in order for people to actually find your navigation if there's any accessibility issues uh, with your main navigation uh, above the fold. They can also access these as text links uh, in your footer. Number five uh, is clear contact information. Um, it's, it's quite important to have large phone numbers and or forms. Um, email addresses, uh, especially in uh, lead generation style websites or even if somebody wants to inquire about a product or service which you may have, uh, it's quite important to have this clear and readily available for uh, your end user to get in contact. Number six uh, is your search. Now it's, it is a uh, you know, content is king. Uh, search is quite important for if you've got a hundred products and somebody's looking for something uh, specific, uh, they can type it in your search and get the information that they're after straight away. Number seven uh, would be uh, to have a sign up or subscribe area on your website. Uh, this is a uh, quite important for your lead generation or if you want to keep in contact with your, uh, with your customers or, or browsers uh, to market material to them uh, and it is quite important to uh, position this uh, prominently on your page or as long as it's quite clear. Um, I've also seen sites that have uh, sign up or subscribe in their footer. Number eight, sitemap. Now, there are two kinds of sitemap on your site, uh, one for humans and one for search engines. Uh, your sitemap can be found in your footer. Uh, this can also be your primary navigation, uh, which is also serves as a sitemap, or you might have a separate page which uh, users can click on, which will go to your sitemap, which basically lists all the, all the pages in, in your website. It's more like an index for your website. Um, which uh, Google loves to get a high page ranking. Cross-browser compatibility. Now there are uh, a lot of issues surrounding uh, this particular uh, point. Um, 
I won't go into depth, but basically uh, you need to check your site uh, on all platforms, Firefox, which is uh, from Mozilla, Google Chrome, uh, Internet Explorer, um, version 6, 7. Um, there are known issues with PNG images, so you need to make sure you get fixes. Uh, to make sure your website displays across all platforms, both Mac and PC. And lastly, but not least, is making sure your uh, website images are optimised. So it's optimising your website images uh, to ensure faster loading. Uh, there's a bit of a fine line here, you don't want to crunch them or compress them too much, uh, as you could lose uh, quality in your images. Uh, you still want your images to look quite vibrant and sharp, uh, but we also want to uh, crunch the sides there to, just to allow uh, faster loading and there is a, a, a feature in Photoshop which you can save your images for web uh, to do this. Thank you for watching this series in building Northern Melbourne's e-business capacity. Hope you enjoyed it and good luck.